Hi everyone, so today I'm doing a get ready with me. This is my lunch in London edition. I went to lunch with my friend last week and I got up really early to film this for you guys. So once I'm up and I've eaten, I start getting ready for my day and I listen to a lot of Taylor Swift at the moment, as you guys can see. And then I get onto my skincare routine and I was in a bit of a rush, so I used the Clarins One Step Water Comfort Cleanser. It smells like peaches and it is delicious and it just gets the grime from the nighttime off of your face. And then using the Pie Orange Blossom and Lotus Toner, which I love. It just leaves your skin so hydrated. And then I just fan that down. Look at me fanning that down, there we go. And then I'm using the Bioderma Rich Cream Moisturizer. This is an amazing moisturizer. I am just obsessed with it at the moment. And then I'm using my Malin & Goetz Lip Balm, which is super glossy and hydrating. And I love using that before I put my makeup on. And then we get down to makeup and I'm going to be starting off with my Chanel Vitalumia Aqua Foundation in the shade 10 Beige. And I just love this foundation, it evens out all the discoloration in your skin and just leaves you with a very nice canvas to work with for the rest of your makeup. So I'm just blending that in with a Kevin Aquan foundation brush. Side note, please ignore the fake tan patches on my face, they are terrible. Then for concealer I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla, which I am so obsessed with because I have a lot of spots at the moment and I don't get a lot of sleep. And I'm using a Real Techniques setting brush just to blend those in. Look at me go, look at me blend. By this point my face is rather glowy so I'm using the Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder with a NARS Yachio Kabuki brush. There is a much fatter version of this now if you are trying to get hold of it in stores. And then I'm using the Clinique Cheek Contouring Palette in the shade 4 just to kind of give some definition to my cheeks but I'm kind of also using it as a blush as well, I don't think I've woken up by this point in the morning. And I'm using a Zoeva Angle Brush to do this. For brows, I'm using the Soap & Glory Archery Pencil in the shade Blonde Shell and I'm just using the spoolie on it to comb up my brows and then just penciling and filling in the actual brows because they are a mess at the moment. Next up I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper which I really didn't like at first and it's growing on me, it just has amazing staying power and my brows are so unruly that I have become quite friendly with this one. For eyeshadow I'm using the number 7 Stay Perfect Shade and Define Eyeshadow Stick. This is in the shade Glistening Ray which is a beautiful kind of taupey, nudey colour. It's got a bit of shimmer to it but not too much and it's not very glittery. It's very easy to blend as well and quite long lasting so for a day in London I love that. And then I'm using the Tom Ford Liner Pen which is such a luxurious product. I've been using this to compare it to the Collection one and I really like it. Collection one is obviously much cheaper though so always love that one. Then I'm using Benefit's Roller Lash, which I am not so impressed with. I'm going to continue using it because it's not terrible, but it's also not great at the same time. I personally wouldn't recommend it. The only thing I really love about it is the packaging. And as you can see, it's taking quite a few coats for me to get to a point that I'm happy with. So not loving it so far, really, no. For lips, I'm using the Rimmel Exaggerate Liner in East End Snob. I love this lip liner. It's a great alternative to the Charlotte Tilbury lip pencil in Pillow Talk, and I love that. You, you guys know I love that. I talk about it all the time. After that, I'm using the Clarins Instant Light Lip Balm Perfector in the shade 3, which is a really nice nude pink. And then we move on to hair. I'm going to be curling my hair with straighteners today, which is super simple, and I just love this method of curling hair. I have curlers, which you guys will have seen me use before, but for a really quick and easy curled hairstyle, I just use straighteners. So I start off by brushing my hair out, and there's a bit of fluff in my hair, which I just saw, which is quite embarrassing. And then I section half of the hair up and put it on top of my head. I'm then running the straighteners over the roots just to get rid of any kinks that there might be, especially around the back they're tricksy. And after that I just take the straighteners and make sure that they are pointing down and then do a kind of curling motion. So I've taken the top half of my hair down and I'm just continuing to curl. On one side of my hair I actually have noticed that I do do the curls pointing upwards which is probably why my curls never look the same on each side. I've never actually watched myself do this, this is quite interesting. And 
then I'm taking my L'Oreal L Net Volumizing Hairspray and I'm just spraying that all into place and then running my hands through the curls just to loosen them up a bit. And then we move on to my outfit and as always in London I go for an all black outfit. I'm not really sure why, I don't know why I just gravitate towards an all black outfit when I go into London. So I'm picking out my ASOS sheer black shirt which I am obsessed with at the moment, I really haven't stopped wearing this. And then I'm teaming that with the Dorothy Perkins jacket and I'm going to show you the rest of the outfit in a bit. Once I got dressed I put on my jewellery and I'm putting on my H&M rose gold stud earrings which I love, they're a bit of a pain to get in but once you do I love them, they are beautiful. And then I'm going to be teaming that with my Alex Monroe rose gold necklace, it's the bumblebee one and I haven't taken this off since I got it. And then I pack my bag for London and I will be doing a what's in my bag soon so don't think you're missing out on anything, it is coming. And I'm also just spraying on some Tom Ford Noir Extreme uh, Cologne, I say cologne because it is for men but I love it. And then I'm just fanning about with my ASOS sunglasses and this is my outfit. So we have my ASOS shirt, Topshop Joni jeans, new look shoes which I love and then there's the Dorothy Perkins leather jacket which I was telling you about earlier along with all of the accessories. My watch is always from Olivia Burton and that bag there is from ASOS and it's just a big tote bag which makes everything so easy to carry around. And then that is it, I trot off to London, have lunch and there is my finished outfit. So you can see it all in full. I switched my sunglasses though, those are from Topshop. Thank you so much to Tanya for filming this bit for me because I could not have done that on my own. And that is the end of this week's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Sorry about the really creepy, weird voiceover. I hope you've all had a lovely weekend and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.